slow. Hello, how are you? Got a question for you, if you can answer it. If he really was a self-made millionaire, why was he declared bankrupt in 1952? Questions that need answered. 1952. Hello again. Why was he declared bankrupt in 1952? He's supposed to be a self-made millionaire. That doesn't make sense. Think about it. The 23rd. Victor, Lily, how's it going? Will that be cash or credit card? A checkbook. The mission is no money. Minus 40 on the tone scale. The sub-zero tone scale. Total failure. You're fucked. Hello. Hey, sir. Listen, they only want your money tonight. You do realise that. This mission is... He's going under. The bailiff's trying to seize the assets a few weeks ago. You do you need, you read that you need to pay the, the CRO, rent. The company registration office. The mission's fucked. They want your money. That's all they want. Don't give them any money. Pay your rent, Jared. Stupid fucking man. In this day and age, yeah. Yeah, you wish. yeah well, that's what happened. Nice to have a student points, eh? You're operating on the sub-zero tone scale. Yes, oh, check yeah. the word delusion out and also highest ever. Leading bodies, what's that? Minus four on the sub-zero tone scale? Leading bodies, I go all the way to minus 40. Total failure. Pay your rent. Pay your rent, there's no hiding. You cannot hide. That's also on the sub-zero tone scale. You're gone. Well, that wiped the smile off his face. Okay. Obviously, a CEO from St. Hill. And also, you're late. Go to ethics. It's a face off. <laughs> hey John, you look great on you look great on the pictures. A really good resolution that camera. What pixel how many pixels is it? Me. Known racist. We've all had psychotic breaks, but you shouldn't be using yeah. terminology like that because that's psychiatric terminology. You're supposed to be opposed to that, you fucking Thank <laughs> you. 
John, have you had enough? Ahmed, come for a cup of coffee. Ahmed, come for a cup of coffee. We'll treat you. We'll buy you a cup of coffee. Come with us. We'll even let you wear that stupid IAS jumper. No, I said the jumper was stupid. Didn't call you stupid. You're not a religion. Except you're not a religion. Scavenge is the SP. Have you not figured it out yet? Is 
This, this is a public street. Ron sounds like he's losing his shit. Dermot, you've been around long enough to realise that Miscavige is the real SP, haven't you? What's up with the not coming? Call them again. Call the merchants of chaos again. Seem trying to muster some OT powers there, but it's just not working. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mock your OT powers. Sorry, but I do. Do you know why? Because they don't exist, except in your own head. They exist in your head. That's the only place they exist. Because of the criminal activities of your uh, organization? Good point. Criminal activities. What are your criminal activities, Mark? Because that's why you're here. 
convicted of fraud in France. In addition to that, extortion, spying, conspiracy. Are you comfortable by being associated with a criminal group? Because that's what Scientology is, a criminal group. What you think it is and what it really is are two different things. You think it's something else. It's not what you think it is, Dermot. Where are you getting your information about Scientology from? Scientology! Do you know something else? He was declared bankrupt in 1952. That's between Dianetics and Scientology. So if he made his money from all his writing, how come he couldn't pay his bills in 1952 and got declared bankrupt? Do you got an answer to that? I'd love to know. What's the answer to that? Declared bankrupt in 1952. Can you explain that? Do you care? Do you care then? Oh good, good, I'm glad. Does it bother you that, that Scientology is rewriting history or trying to? Did you read the book 1984, Dermot? Did you read the book 1984, how they actually rewrite history? You don't get any mention in Ron's biography about being made bankrupt in 1952 or borrowing five grand from Bernie Green in Dublin and not paying it back. If you really had something worthwhile that mankind, what mankind wanted, you should give it away, not sell it. Think about that for a moment. Now I know you've been told the reasons why you're selling it, but wouldn't it be better if you really had something worthwhile just to give it away, give it to people who need it? No, you can't do that, can you? Because that's off policy. Fifty-four edition, not the new one. That's taken out of the new edition, of course. Rewriting history. Take out the bits that we don't like. I'd much rather have you on my side. But as long as your delusion continues, it's not going to happen. Oh, sorry, can you repeat that? Documented. 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 Not just made oh, up and spouted out at Scientology events. Actual documented court facts. John, if it was a choice between Scientology and your daughter, who would you put first? I'd put my daughter first. Yeah, so would most she normal people. She would starve in here. Gabby Wynn said she had the daughter starving for hours, begging to be fed, while she went on with admin work at HCL. Well, Scientology is more important to some people. Plays as ethics officer, has no ethics in service. How do you feel about that? I bet you're going to edit loads of this stuff out, because you don't want the people at the top to think you're a Taxi, damn it, you taxi.
to that one. He didn't really mean it. How about the one where he wrote to his wife and said, don't do housework, get yourself a nigger, that's what they're for. How about that one? Ron Hubbard wrote that to his wife. Humanitarian, eh? <laughs> Ron the humanitarian. Jesus. Simply put, yes. I don't know. Ask. If OT actually really existed, we wouldn't even be here. Because your OT powers would have us gone. But, you see, we don't go. So, why don't you just use your OT powers? Ah, but Ron told us not to use them. So why have you got them if you can't use them? So do you think asking someone to go to a bank for a loan for a car and then give the money to Scientology is actually in some way unethical? Or do you think it's okay to do that because it's the greatest good for the greatest number of dynamics? What do you think? He's fraudulently getting a loan. What do you think? Is that, is that okay to do that? I know you've got some misgivings about what's going on, so why don't you just share them with me? I'm willing to communicate with anyone on any subject. What do you think personally about telling people who have an incurable illness that it can be cured? What do you think about that? Do you think that's ethical? Just wondering. You don't have an opinion, you don't care? it's okay to spy on people? Does your church... The over does speak loud in accusation. I said, do you think it's okay to spy on people? And he said, the over does speak loud in accusation. I actually don't spy on people, but thank you anyway. Does your church spy on people? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. That's one of the things they were convicted for in France, was spying, along with extortion, fraud, conspiracy, coercion, and of course, practicing medicine without a license. And going to trial in Belgium soon on the same charges. You don't want to even bother defending that, no? Do you believe that, Dermot? Do you believe that we eat dog shit straight from the dog? Does that person behind you think so? What do you think of that? What do you think of someone who even says that? Or don't you care? You said it. I have the highest tone of the I'm a wagon of the highest tone. Imagine that. I got one with Dermot already pulling a psychotic break face. Is it conceivable that we might know something about this religion that you don't? No, we're bigger. We've got an answer for it. Ah, yeah. If we were wrong and we were so we would have got rid of us. So what's the difference between something that's factual and something that isn't factual? Come on, damn it. 
So, for example, was L. Ron Hubbard made bankrupt in 1952? That's actually a fact, a documented fact. I don't know. It's, it's, I don't care what people believe, it's what people do. And when people break the law, that's when I get concerned. Otherwise, I'm not interested. You can believe what you like, guys. You can believe what you like. But when you're telling people to go to the bank and get a loan for cars when you want the money to go to Scientology, that's not right. Why don't you just tell the bank manager it's for Scientology? Because he'd say, uh, what? No fucking way, are you out of your bloody mind? How do you justify that? And you hide it from people, you know, if you meet a woman friend of the outside world, you're actually telling them. Why did he want uh, Claire Headley's name before? What, what was that all about? He wants to document all the names of people that had abortions. Oh, really? People are speaking out now. People are no longer afraid. Like you've been in this for a long time, Dermot, so you know that fear is used to keep people in check. Fear is used to keep people under control. You know that, right? We're embarrassed for you. We actually cringe when we see you doing this. When you see If you want to get out, we'll help you. Oh my god, no. I'm just really glad she never had Hang on, Dermot wants that for the record, Sam. What's that? Something. Dermot wants some footage. He wants something for the record. Dermot, go on the internet. A hard on about abortions. Des Sinner has a hard on about many things. He's obsessed with getting sexual indiscretions out of people at the auditing table. Really? Yeah. He's an unnatural obsession with sex. And his poem about and his poem about the Special Olympians. It's sick for a guy who's meant to be an ecclesiastical minister. No, it was uh, Gary... Gary Moorhead. Gary, Gary Moorhead. Gary Moorhead. Yeah. In fact, they got so suspicious about it that they started asking questions because the Scientologists were told not and another to crazy story. The Martin Padfield got put in the RPF because he had a gun. And he got put in, like, uh, a gulag for, what, two years or something? Yeah, but if you're beating your meat, you're not yeah. clearing the planet, so yeah, come on, you know? I was able to cheat the meter. I could lie. Don't and you know? I could have floating needle because you know, back in 2010, the last time he put me in the cans, 2009, last time I was on the cans with him, the knee, I got a floating needle and I was talking to you guys. If these guys knew their tech, they'd know that you only use confessionals when, when somebody's under a justice action and is refusing to come clean. I mean, you don't get people to pay for it. See how silly your so called religion You don't even is. know your own tech. You don't even know your own policies. What's needing bodies again? <laughs> Needing bodies in the shop. <laughs> well, that's other fish to fry. Come on. Hi, Demet. Got some other fish to fry? TV programs coming out soon as well. 